In this video, Real-Time Clock DS3231 is programmed to display time, date, and temperature on module TM1637. A diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the Real-Time Clock DS3231 connected to the Arduino using I2C, where the data is connected to A4 and the clock is connected to A5. The TM1637 module is connected serially to the Arduino using two digital pins. The clock is connected to D4 and the DIO is connected to D5. We also have two push buttons connected to interrupt pins 0 and 1 of the Arduino. We have a 10K pot connected to analog line A7. On the TM1637 module, Time is displayed in hours and minutes. Pressing the date button generates interrupt zero signal where the day, month and year is displayed on the module. Pressing the temperature button generates interrupt one signal where the temperature in Celsius is displayed. Pressing both buttons will give us the date and the temperature on the display. We can also change the brightness of the display by changing the pot value. A quick look at the C++ code used in the project. We need to include this library so that we can use the TM1637 module and this library so that we can access the time and the date from the real-time clock and we need to add this library so that we can access the built-in temperature sensor within the real-time clock and we need this library for I2C communication. Next we need to declare this object to this class so that we can access the TM module and we need to declare this object to this class so that we can access the real-time clock and these are the global variables used in this code. Within the setup function we attach uh, interrupt 0 to digital pin D2 of the Arduino and we also attach interrupt 1 to digital pin 3 of the Arduino. Inside the loop function we set the brightness of the TM module by reading the pot value connected to A7 and there are seven levels of brightness from 0 to 7. 0 is the lowest brightness and 7 is the maximum brightness. Then we get from the real-time clock the temperature, the minute, hour, year, day and month and then we display on the TM module the hour and the minutes and then we apply through this code a blinking effect to the colon on the display. During the execution of the loop function where the time is displayed on the module when we press the date button interrupt zero occurs and the program immediately jumps to this interrupt service routine. Inside the interrupt service routine, the values of the day and month are stored into elements of an array and then they are displayed on the TM module. After a brief delay, we display the year on the module. When we press the temperature button, interrupt 1 occurs and the program immediately jumps to this interrupt service routine where the temperature is displayed on the module and after a brief delay, we display the unit Celsius. In a future video, the real-time clock will be further modified by adding more functionalities to the clock, such as an alarm. Thank you for watching.